So today it's just me, just me and the Peebo machine because Arthur is off Arthuring, doing something actory probably, uh, that's what he does. Um, but I got this package this morning so I thought it. I really wanted to talk about it because Ashley, AJ, who sent me these vanilla samples, he works for has a company called Secret based in Peru and he's growing or rather harvesting the most extraordinary vanilla that I've ever smelt and I think that we should all be buying it. It's that simple. Um, he says here, he says, from the Peruvian Amazon, we grow, source and process our own raw materials in an eco-conscious and sustainable manner. We distill native and heirloom plants working closely with local indigenous communities. Which gets all my thumbs up and my big toes too. So I, I met him at the World Perfumery Congress and then he was at the Barnes Fragrance Fair. And the, the vanilla beans that grow from this particular variety, they are huge. Okay, so photograph of hand, just a bean. And when they're dried, you, you can see that the vanillin crystal is just popping out of the thing. Um, so it's, it says here, it's vanilla pompona. It's native to the area, believed to be the original vanilla bean. Any road up, it's, it's just gorgeous. So, wish you could be here, but um, I'm going to take the caps. I've never had these little things before, so let's hope I don't mess it up too much. It's gone a bit leaky because the weather is very... I can just smell it off this. The weather's warm at the moment, unusual. I mean, I smelled it before. I'm just, I'm just in love. Um, I would like to put this into something just to see what a difference it makes. Um, it's, it's. They are amazingly rich. I mean, I've got some nice vanilla, absolute. Um, and there's so much more to it than vanillin. Vanillin, and I am running out. And um, so maybe we can all get together and buy a kilo and share it. Uh, so this one is the Pompona. So it's quite sticky. It's not going to come out by itself. But it's gone onto the lid, so I'll just scoop some off that. That's all we'll need. Right, put that back in the right place so I don't... Mess it up. I've already written it down, you know, because I've put the lid back on. It's a very wide angle lens, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's distracting. Sort of very woody. Oh, let's see, what does it say? Um, it says floral green, sweet vanilla, fruity, oily, buttery, baked nut, anisic, spicy, phenolic, smoky, earthy, cheesy, sour, and other. Um, Although, oh, that's three different versions. Relatively, uh, I don't know which. There's a graph. Look, I've got two maths A-levels and I don't understand this graph. Uh, I understand that green has got higher sweet vanillic and phenolic smoky. Uh, oh, I see. They're different kinds of extractions. Anyway, I get, obviously, vanilla but smells sort of beeswaxy and old woody. It's like furniture that's been polished with beeswax. So we also have here um, vanilla odorata, question mark, it says. It also says in it, my favourite, not mine, AJ's. Um, right, extremely rare. Vanilla Odorata, extremely rare, my favourite. Well, this is much more ice creamy to my mind. 
more spicy. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I could think of words. Lighter, creamier. This gets more chocolatey the more I smell it. I mean, of course, chocolate smells a lot of vanilla, but most chocolates are flavoured with vanilla. So it's maybe not so much that it smells chocolatey as chocolate smells vanilla-y, but that's what it reminds me of. Vanilla planifolia, most common. And it's not the same really without having an Arthur for me to pass the sticks to and get so in the, I'm like in my head I'm sort of picturing in the background Arthur just going mmm uh, that she does much better than I do like mmm um, planifolia and all you get unfortunately is me in the background uh, no, not scent, background sounds of swifts going snaking as they go by the window. My favourite summer sound, swift. The colours are even different. The odorata is much more kind of red. I don't know if this picks up. Oh yeah, I think this really does. The one in the middle. I find it, you know, it's it's a much more chestnutty colour. The others are more walnutty. Weirdly, this one reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is a little more spiky herbal, and it's not minty. It just has a vague vague background mentholiness to me so what do we do perfumers do we uh do we get some it, okay so it's it's at if you want you know if you want to talk to them i think you probably should it's um www.sekutvanilla.com s e K U T vanilla dot com. Um, I think it's important. The vanilla supply is so dodgy. You know the, the things that happen in Madagascar are I mean apparently they're being put right, but uh it's it's just a very unstable area at the moment. Um, oh, there's uh, two other things in the packet here, so I thought I'd, I'd just, I'm just randomly opening them, aren't I, without seeing what's here. Okay, we've got rosewood and palo santo. Ha! Ah, rosewood and palo santo meaning holy wood, rosewood, not from rose trees. You probably know that, but lots of people don't. I've been asked. Rosewood doesn't come from rose trees. Uh, let's see, because I'm actually out of rosewood at the moment. And for a while, the import was banned from anywhere plain foresty because it was being cut down unethically. Which, you know, happens whether a people... They don't have any ethics. Oh, what's this? Okay. Normally I don't get to watch myself when I'm filming, so it's... Okay. A pure, clear light. I don't know why rosewood always smells so fresh and light to me. But this one does. It's a, it reminds me, weirdly, always of licorice. Once you've smelt it, you can't unsmell it.
Oh, it's mostly linalool, of course. If it's linalool, plus, plus, plus. I'm not... Okay, confession. I'm not actually very fond of rosewood. There's something that Lush used to make that I didn't like that was very rosewoody. And that's the trouble with memories. Whatever happened on that day when I smelt that thing in some Lush meeting, I just think it, it made me not be a fan. But on the other hand, I wouldn't not use it because it gives such an interesting structure it helps structurally it's like having um proper bones in your corset that probably doesn't mean much whoa palo santo it's rosewood keeps things from collapsing the rosewood will expand and help to keep the top notes high and the bass notes in their place if you see what i mean it um it provides a good strong center to your fragrance is the, the way that I have found it so I will put rosewood in something in a small quantity even though I don't particularly want to smell the rosewood which might seem a bit of a luxury considering um, but that I put it, I put it in cheaper fragrances if I'm going for something like classic uh, it's in Lady Rose Lion Monkey Unicorn in Paris 1948 for example, which is why I might need some more. Hmm. This Palo Santo smells different from other Palo Santos I have smelled. It's not very interesting just watching me breathe, is it? I suppose it's a little bit more reassuring than watching me not breathe. Hmm, how am I going to describe this? I don't think I am. But it does smell like... It smells like something you would experience when walking into an old-style um, car repair garage. It has a kind of industrial oily smell, and I mean that in a good way. It smells like it's going to make an engine function more smoothly. It smells like something you'd put... I'm just digging myself a hole and jumping in it here, aren't I? I mean, I wouldn't have said it was a wood uh, if I didn't know better. I Honestly, I don't think it's mislabeled. No, it's not that. It's me. But lots of, lots of wood essential oils don't smell like they come from trees. It's really intriguing, but I would smell it smell, I would smay, I would smay it sells. I would say it smells much more industrial <laughs> and medicinal. I bet it's one of those things, if I passed it around the room to a bunch of people who come in for a half day workshop and said, do you think this is natural or synthetic? They'd all go, it's synthetic. It does, it smells like a, a hot machine tool kind of a room. And a bit like sticking plaster. So that's a surprise. So, um, yeah. Carlos Santo. See, none of those things, I don't think that's that's bad. I think that's great. Think of the interesting things I could do with it. So, but back to the vanillas. I aspire. I'm going to have to save up. You see, you know some things like my grandmother used to say, oh, what you never had, you never miss. And I didn't think that was true. I used to say back to her in a very smart-ass teenage sort of way, no, it's what you never knew existed you never miss. 
I feel like that with this. It's almost like if I didn't know it existed, then I would have gone on in blissful ignorance. Yeah, the Odorata is also gorgeous. Ooh, I like the planet film in there. Interesting that the Odorata is... Oh no, yes, it's actually extremely rare, his favourite, yes. The lightest. This, it's this one, this one. Capona, the big guy. Smell. Okay, come round, you can smell it. I'll stop now. Well, I mean, I won't stop. I'll stop recording. I'll just sit here and do this. 